Hello everyone, it's Jessica here. And today I'm happy to introduce our new podcast channel, Learn English Podcast. On our channel, we'll have different series like 8-Minute English and Podcast and Chill. Our video podcasts will help you practice English, improving your listening and speaking skills. Don't forget to subscribe for more special videos to enhance your English learning. Hello everyone and welcome back to our 8-Minute English Podcast. It's me, Kale today's podcast episode's host. Today we will be talking about British English and American English. Whether you're having tea in London or grabbing a coffee in New York, English binds us together. Let me introduce you to our special guest joining us, Linda. Linda, it's great to have you here. How are you today? Thank you, Kale. I'm thrilled to be here. It's always a pleasure to talk about the fascinating world of English language differences. I've got plenty of anecdotes to share, and I can't wait to dive into our conversation. I'm sure our listeners will enjoy the stories and perspectives you bring to the table. Be sure to watch the video all the way to the end because we have a surprise waiting for you. Wait no more. Let's begin. We will start with a small activity. Jessica sent me these two videos so we could react to them. Describe what you see. I don't know what that is. I don't know. You can't see it. Mr. Chooks, it looks pretty clear to me what this is. Had enough of your lies. Tell me the truth. You can't handle the truth. Every time I say it, you guys go crazy. I've tried saying an American accent, a British accent, fast, slow. I've even tried singing it. But for some reason, you guys are obsessed. I don't understand it. Bottle of water. There you go. You happy? A bottle of water. <laughs> Hi, can I take your order? Hello, mate. Can I please have a... Wait, are you British? Yeah, why? Um... It's just that, uh, uh, the translator isn't here, it's, it's just me, so... But we both speak English. It's not like I'm talking another language. Hey, you know what? I can do this. May I take your order? Right. So, can I please have a tomato sandwich with aubergine courgette, a packet of crisp and a bottle of water? Cheers, mate. Oh, and a cookie for pudding. Get out. Well, it's really interesting how the same language changes across the Atlantic. Yes, let's start with how we say words, like W-A-T-E-R. In the U.S., we say it like water, and we really hear the R at the end. It's different in the U.K. We say water, softer, and with a clearer T. These small things make English diverse and interesting. True. And it's not just how we say words, the words we use are also different. For example, I live in an apartment. What do you call it, Kale? We call it a flat, and we have different words for transport, too. In the UK, we use a lorry to move goods, but in the US, you say truck. These differences can be confusing, but also fun when we try to understand each other. Right, Linda, and we can't forget about grammar. There are many small differences, like when we talk about things we did. That's true, Kale. In the U.S., we might say, I already ate. In the U.K., you might say, I have already eaten. Exactly. It's these details that make British and American English special. Knowing them helps us talk better and enjoy the language more. I totally agree with you, Kale. So... Have you ever encountered a funny or awkward situation due to the differences between British and American English? Christmas is coming. Are you excited, Linda? Absolutely, Kale. I can't wait to decorate my Christmas tree. Gotta make it fabulous. 
So what do you think is the most interesting difference between Christmas in the U.S. and the U.K.? Why do you feel that way? It's interesting to see how we celebrate differently across the ocean, especially with unique traditions and words. Yeah, like when I first heard of Christmas crackers in the U.K., I thought they were a type of food. Ha, <laughs> no, they're not a food in the U.K. They are colorful items that open with a pop. Inside, you find a joke, a small toy, and a paper hat. They make Christmas fun and joyful. That's really different from the U.S., Kel. Here, crackers are just food. And what about Santa Claus? In the U.K., they often call him Father Christmas. This name is very old. He's sometimes seen more like a winter figure, not the same as the happy Santa in the U.S. who brings gifts. True, Linda. And Christmas food is also different. In the UK, people eat mince pies and Christmas pudding. This pudding is a heavy fruit cake, not like American pudding. It's an old recipe from the Victorian era. We don't have Christmas pudding in the US. Our pudding is a sweet dessert that's creamy, like a mousse or a panna cotta. Oh, I see. That's new to me. But Christmas cookies are popular in the US. Families make different cookies and share them with friends and neighbors. It's all about sharing happiness. And we drink eggnog, a creamy sweet drink made with milk, sugar, and eggs. UK Christmas lights are often less flashy, more elegant. Our cities glow with soft, festive lights. It's more traditional. In the US, we love bright Christmas lights. Some houses have so many lights, they look like a festival. It's about having fun and spreading joy. And don't forget the Christmas jumpers in the UK. They're bold and fun. It's a cheerful way to celebrate the holiday. Exactly, Kale. It's amazing that even though we speak the same language, our Christmas traditions are so different. It makes the holiday more special. Absolutely, Linda. Christmas is about joy, and these differences make it more magical. Have you ever tried any of these traditions? We'd love to hear from you. Now, let's delve into some amusing misunderstandings between British and American English. Oh, this is going to be fun, Kale. Let's start with the word rubber. In the UK, it's something you use in school, right? Exactly, Linda. A rubber in the UK is what you'd call an eraser in the US. But in America... A rubber has a, let's say, a very different use. Ha, <laughs> it certainly does. Now, what about pants? In the UK, they're what you wear under your trousers, correct? Right. But in the US, pants are what we in the UK call trousers. Quite a mix-up when an American in the UK says they need to buy new pants. <laughs> Absolutely. And let's not forget biscuit. In the UK, it's a sweet treat you'd have with tea, but in the US, it's more like a soft bread roll, often served with gravy. Oh, that's a classic. Now, in the US, you use fanny to mean your backside, but in the UK, it's a bit more, shall we say, delicate. That's a good one to be careful with. And let's talk about cars. In the UK, you fill up with petrol, but in the US, we get gas. Yes, and our boot is your trunk. You can imagine the confusion when a Brit asks an American to put their suitcase in the boot. That would raise some eyebrows. And lift in the UK is an elevator in the US. Imagine my surprise the first time I was told to take the lift. It's these little differences that can lead to funny yet memorable experiences. Listeners, have you ever had a mix-up due to these language differences? We'd love to hear your stories. Definitely. Share your funny misunderstandings with us. As we finish today's episode of British English or American English, let's remember what we talked about. We looked at how British and American English are different in the way we speak and use words. It's been very interesting, Kale. We talked about Christmas, everyday words, and the funny mistakes that can happen. We learned a lot about how these differences make English a fun language. Exactly, Linda. Thanks to everyone who listened. 
We hope you liked it as much as we did. These differences make English an exciting language to learn and use. And here's some great news. We're starting a new channel just for podcasts. It's going to be full of different, interesting podcasts for everyone. That's right. And it's really exciting. The new channel will have all sorts of topics and ideas. No matter what you like, you'll find something interesting there. So keep an eye out for it. It's going to be great, and we can't wait to share it with you. Watch for more news about it soon. Thanks again for listening. Don't miss our next episodes, and be sure to check out our new podcast channel. There will be a lot of great things to listen to. Until next time, keep enjoying English and having fun with it.